Welcome back to another chemistry video. Today I am going to talk about the structure and properties of lime and why lime is important to my PBSL materials project. Both lime and its chemicals, the purpose of lime and its material and common uses are listed below. Both lime and its chemical derivative, calcium hydroxide, of which lime is the base, and hydride are inexpensive but important commodity chemicals. Lime has been widely used as building materials for thousands of years, and the Romans used lime to make the Roman concrete that revolutionized architecture. Lime has been widely used for water softening and the treatment of sewage and industrial waste. What are the important properties of lime and why is it so important to people? Lime has a melting point of 2,613 degrees Celsius and appears as a white, odorless, caustic, alkaline, crystalline solid at room temperature at room temperature, a 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Lime has a high affinity for water and is more efficient desiccant than silica gel. It is slightly soluble in water but is easily formed calcium hydroxide while generating a large quantity of heat of 1,140 kJ per kilogram. Limestone, like marble, which is mostly made out of lime, can be very strong with the compressive strength as high as 200 MPa. What are the useful properties of lime? As in an inexpensive commodity chemical, lime can be readily reacted with water to produce hydrated lime, which is, makes it very useful for many applications. Calcium and magnesium hydrogen carbonates react with calcium hydroxide to produce insoluble calcium carbonate and magnesium hydroxide. Non-carbonate calcium and magnesium chlorides and sulfates can be removed by hydrated lime plus sodium carbonate. Hydrated lime in conjunction with ferrous sulfate is an effective way of removing solids and phosphorus compounds and destroying pathogens. Hydrated lime is used widely to neutralize acid weights and precipitate, precipitate heavy metals in effluents from a wide range of industry. So what is the structure of lime and hydrated lime? Lime consists of calcium and oxygen elements in the form of calcium oxide. Calcium oxide has a molar mass of 56.08 grams per mole. A, mole, a, cal a calcium oxide molecule is made out of one calcium ion, ion, cation, with a charge of positive 2 and one oxygen anion, with a charge of negative 2 with an ionic bond. Hydrated lime is calcium hydroxide, which is a molar mass of 74.09 grams per mole. In calcium hydroxide, the bonds between calcium hydroxide are ionic, and the bonds between oxygen and hydrogen are covalent. Calcium oxide crystal has a cubic structure. The calcium oxide molecule has a strong polarity and an ionic bond. The intermolecular forces in calcium oxide crystals are from mainly ionic bond network between cations and anions. The calcium hydroxide crystal has a hexagonal structure and, the, and it is a polar molecule. The intermolecular forces in calcium hydroxide crystals are mainly ionic and di dipole, dipole inter interactions. Here is my side of work for this presentation. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation and I hope to learn more about Lyme and why it is useful in our lives.